back again with another video. And today, I don't even know how I'm gonna title this one, but um, I'm gonna be talking about the celestials and your soul. So how do I start? Okay, um, so basically, we all have this thing called a natal chart, which basically shows the astrology of you, in a sense. So, here's what we have to understand, though. So, first of all, the celestials are like lights in the sky. The stars and the planets, and also the planets that, you know, they teach us about are not really what you may think. They're actually just like the stars, in a sense. So, these lights in the, in the heavens above is what they call it. These lights affect the light within you. So these lights basically manipulate what kind of soul you're gonna be when you're born. So basically, whenever you're born, whichever celestials are in the sky or in the heavens above at that time, manipulate what kind of soul you're gonna be, you know, on this plane of existence. So basically, as above, so below. Like, the Egyptians built the pyramids to line up perfectly with Orion's belt, which are three stars in the sky. So they kind of knew a little bit more than we knew, we'll say. Another thing that you have to understand, though, is, see, we're not, <laughs> we're not living on a ball, on a sphere, flying through space. Because if that was the case, we'd see many, many different stars, many, many different constellations, you see. But the reason we see the same constellations every year after year is because the stars are above us moving around like this. And the moon is actually, it's kind of like the yin-yang symbol. It's just going in a circle, like an energy, like a electricity type of thing, you see? And so, if you look at like a picture or a video of a time lapse of stars, <clears throat> it shows you that these stars are going in a circle over and over. Um, the only one that doesn't really move is like the center star, like a star called Polaris. So they're, they're, they're basically in a fixed spot in a sense. There's no, cause we're not, you know, we're not, there is no outer space, you see. We've been lied to and you gotta understand, you can't believe everything that the government tells you. Everything they told you, see they taught us about the mantle, the crust and the core, like stuff like that in elementary school because they knew that when we were young, this stuff would stick with us for life, you see. You know, you teach a kid a language at a young age, they'll learn it better than them trying to learn it in their thirties. You see what I'm saying? So they knew, okay, we're gonna teach them this in elementary school. They'll believe what we taught them for life. And also side note, NASA in Hebrew actually means deceiver, but that's another, that's something else. But anyway, so you can't, you can't first, for one, you cannot be believing in the things that you're, you're taught straight up first off. You know, they're not gonna give us the facts because they don't want us to know anything. But even in religious texts, it speaks of more of a flat plane than anything. See, there's a there's a part of, of the Christian Bible actually that they took out of the Bible called the Apocrypha. Within the book of Enoch, it explains all this stuff in great detail. See, it really explains what's going on. See, we don't live on like a ball, we more so live on, live in like a realm like picture a snow globe. But see, it's even deeper than that because, and see, I don't wanna make a whole video on flat flat versus round or nothing like that. But see, it's, it's even deeper than that and I'm not gonna go there. But basically, the main point I'm trying to say here is these stars are fixed, you see? And these stars aren't really what you think they are. But they're, they're made up of light, you see? The only real light that there is is the sun, the moon, any celestials in the sky, and fire, you know? So that's what real, real light is, you see? And so these 
lights manipulate the light within you is the bottom line of what I'm trying to say. So this is how you get certain zodiacs. So say you're a Sagittarius, um, the constellation of Sagittarius manipulated the soul in which you became to be when you were born. So, but that's only because we get the same zodiacs every year. So I'm trying to say so because we're not flying through space seeing different stars every every year. It's not what it's not what they tell you it is. And it's really that simple, you know. Um, people don't really stop and think about that. See, whatever's happening in the heavens above, it plays out like a stage down here with the lights down here, as in us. So this is why you have tarot card readers and they're able to read for thousands of people because it's like a, a big, it's like a big show in a sense. And this is why astrology is tied into life because the stars manipulate us. And another thing, we've never been to the moon. It was a Hollywood production. Um, and gravity isn't real. So yeah, these are things that we've been lied to about. And you gotta wake up. And with that being said, I hope you found something out of this video, or maybe this video m makes you want to research and dig deeper yourself. So just, you know what I'm saying? Don't believe everything I say. Dig deep into something, you see, if you have questions about it, which is what I always do. Um, But yeah, so like, share, subscribe, comment, all the good stuff. And until next time, peace and love.